What's up guys? I'm Naraya, aka Flower Girl N, you already know. And for today's video, this is probably my video I'm most excited for ever. I'm gonna be piercing my ears at home. I'm so excited about the piercing kit and everything. I'm gonna put links up, I'm gonna show y'all pictures, and basically got my little setup going. And yeah, let's just get right into it. I have my jewelry soaking in there. I have my salt saline like solution in there. A little towel just in case. I have some clamps that I already pre-opened, but these are sterilized clamps. Some alcohol pads. Some needles that I just opened, but they're also in sterilized. And this is the setup. I just wiped down this whole thing with Clorox and yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wipe my ear front and back with some alcohol wipes. Just get the whole entire ear, the front, the inside, the lobe, the back, every part that you're gonna touch or that the needles are gonna touch you need to wipe. I know I'm supposed to be using like a surgical marker, but I'm gonna just be using a regular Sharpie because I didn't buy a surgical one. I've actually seen people in like tattoo shops use this. So that's what I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna use it as kind of like a line as to where I want my conch to go. Okay, so I like that placement. I like where it's at right there. So then, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new alcohol pad and then lightly disinfect the area. And I'm just going to lightly put it over that because I don't want the dot to go away, but still cleaning that area. I'm not really scared, but I'm kind of feeling a little bit right now just because it's like actually like I've been wanting to do this forever. And it's finally like, ooh, it's finally going true. Okay, so... Never, okay, I'm just gonna give you a little tip. If you wanna do your conch piercing, make sure that you don't do your conch piercing with the hoop first. You always wanna start with the stud because the hoop can lead to a lot of like rubbing and moving around and irritation. So you don't wanna do that. You have to wait. I think it's said to wait about four to six months to change it to a hoop once it's fully healed. So yeah, I'm gonna start with a stud first. So I'm gonna get my first needle out. It's a 16 gauge, just what I'm gonna use today. This little piece of hair is fucking killing me, I swear, oh my god. So then I'm gonna take my clamps, line it up. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just lining it up and I'm putting it on the tightest setting. I'm gonna hold it like this. And then you can see the dot through the hole right here. And when you do this, you want to try to make sure you get the needle as uh, straight as possible. You don't want like a crooked needle. Okay, I'm feeling anxiety now, oh my god. Oh my god, okay, it's in there. Okay, it went through. <sighs> that was like such a big like rush. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> oh my god, okay. I didn't feel me putting the jewelry in just because it was so hard and I was like sweating so much, kind of like freaking out. And to clean this, I have a Q-tip and then I have some sea salt and boiled water. I use boiled, one cup of boiled water, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, sea salt. Do not use iodized salt or anything like that. It's to be pure sea salt. So with this, I'm just gonna clean up around it. And then also gonna get the back. it's like tight on there that way it won't fall out when I'm sleeping there's the first one. Oh my goodness I just realized my bangs probably look like crazy during that just because I was so like <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you guys what jewelry I'm using I'm not using one that has a butterfly clip I'm using one that has like a flat like circle on the back it's gonna give room for swelling basically okay just wash my hands again gonna be opening another alcohol and I'm gonna be wiping down the ear on the top where I'm gonna do my helix Again, just front and back. 
I'm going to pierce the helix with a 14 gauge needle and a 16 gauge jewelry. That way it's easily like threaded through. Okay. Uh. Ah, okay. It went through already. Ah! Oh my God. I'm scared if I take the clamps off, it's going to start bleeding. When I was piercing this piercing, I had previously pierced it with a 16 gauge needle first, but I could not get that horseshoe jewelry to go through, which is my fault. I should have been piercing with a 14 gauge needle up there to begin with, but I decided I would try to do go with the 16 gauge first, but I learned my lesson. So what I had to do was I honestly got really frustrated and that's why um, I just pulled my gloves off and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna pierce this with my hands Which I probably shouldn't have done because when I pierced it with the 14 gauge It went through really easily and the jewelry threaded just fine once I pierced it the second time And I could have wore the gloves still but I got really mad and I know I shouldn't have done that But yeah, please keep your gloves on at all times. Don't be like me. So all right guys So I went ahead and cleaned it up. I was gonna go ahead and do a second piercing at the top but um i kind of like it like this i feel like if i did another one it would be like too cluttered up there i might do more videos when i pierce like this one or like my tragus or something but i think for right now i just like the one hoop um that's not what i originally planned but i liked it this way and i don't have any saline spray solution yet but i actually ordered some off amazon and i have prime so it should be here in the next like one to two days but for now for the cleaning process i'm actually just going to be using antibacterial soap and water and then one to two times a day i'm going to be boiling hot water and then putting it in um putting salt in not too much because it could dry your ears out and stuff but i'm actually like really really happy with how everything came out came out once this heals and i'm able to sleep on this side comfortably then i'm gonna um pierce this ear so that's gonna be like my part two video it's been like an hour since this has been pierced and stuff and i just wanted to give you guys a little tip just real quick, I thought about it. Um, when you're piercing any part of your ears, use a 14G needle, so a 14 gauge needle, and then that way it's easier to thread your 16 gauge jewelry through. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy, give this a big thumbs up. But if you're gonna do this at home, please be sanitary. I'm gonna link everything down that I use for this in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.